When it comes to Team Fortress 2 fan games on Roblox, you really only have three games to choose from. These three games consist of Air Warfare, Tetran Fortress 2, and Typical Colors 2. Now, of course, any Team Fortress 2 player might be confused when I mention all of these games. The first question that comes to mind is probably, why would you play this when TF2 is free and has been so for over a decade now? Well, I'm going to get into that by the end. You just have to sit through about a couple minutes worth of explaining. Arrow Warfare is kind of like the new kid on the block. The game is made by a group called Boring Games Studios. It's the same team behind a tower defense game called Evolution Evade. Air Warfare first started gaining traction on YouTube back in July 2023. The main motive behind Air Warfare is progression throughout history. This is reflected behind the game's five classes, all of which are essentially hybrids of the nine marks from TF2. Caveman is meant to be the scout, representing the Paleolithic era. Knight is the sniper and demo knight subclass, representing the medieval times. Cowboy is meant to be the heavy and demo man, representing the old west. Soldier is the pyro and, well, soldier, representing present day. And inventor is a combination of the medic, spy, and engineer, representing the future. As a result, you can create some wacky loadouts that aren't even possible in TF2, like here are some examples. Pyro can get a buff banner and can give himself mini crits now. Demo man can now eat a sandwich. Spy and medic can now wield shotguns. Hybrid knights can now carry an SMG. And a medic and engineer can now trick stab you because of this hammer weapon. The weapons in Air Warfare are modeled to match the overall aesthetic of the class going for. Besides the changes in the models, the weapons behave similarly to how they function in TF2. Unfortunately, Air Warfare is by far the smallest game on this list. Compared to another game that we'll cover later, Petron Fortress 2, and you think this game would have more players. Air Warfare functions pretty well on both mobile and PC. It's just that the game doesn't get a lot of coverage. Typical Colors 2 is a game that was originally made by Roll, a studio known for recreating Valve games onto Roblox. Some other examples include Counterblocks, which is a recreation of CSGO, and Arsenal, which is both based off of the CSGO arms race game mode, and also includes some mechanics from TF2. Typical Colors was first created in 2013 during the early days of Roll. The original version was eventually scrapped, and TC2 was created sometime on December 3rd, 2015. The game really started to gain traction starting in 2020, probably due to the game getting a major overhaul during this time. TC2 eventually separated from Roll on January 23rd, 2024. The game was moved to a new group called Dorcas Digital. TC2 parodies off of the nine classes from TF2 with their own characters, all of which have their own voice actor. The lineup in TC2 consists of the Flanker, Trooper, Arsonist, Annihilator, Brute, Mechanic, Doctor, Marksman, Agent. PC2 also has some established lore, particularly about the two teams in the game. The Marks and Green are implied to be the main protagonists. Green stands for Gerthard and Renison Natural Restoration. As implied by the name, they're mainly responsible for environmental restoration and preservation. Then we have the Red Team, Reginald's Earthly Discoveries. They act as a polar opposite opposite to the green team and are the main antagonists of the game. Red makes their profits off of illegal mining operations, weapons distribution, making them rivals of green. Now the lore isn't the main focus of TC2, however all, out of all the games covered on this list, there are more implications of an established storyline. In terms of gameplay, TC2 doesn't really change much about the classes. The largest changes actually have to be on the sniper and spy. As for the sniper, instead of a a dot, a laser is used to make the sniper more visible, plus damage is also done at closer ranges, making quick scopes harder to pull off. As for the spy, the backstab hitbox is a bit different now. Certain regions of the hitbox will deal a mini crit instead of being an outright critical hit. Overall, TC2 has been the most popular TF2 recreation for a reason. It's the most well-polished one on Roblox. If you've looked at any Roblox TF2 video on YouTube, this is probably the game you've heard of. By far the most simplistic out of the bunch, but with a complete overhaul in the works as I am recording this, Tetragon Fortress 2 is a small project made by Tetranova Software. There is actually a Tetragon Fortress 1. That game was made by the original, now retired creator named Gregor Tetragon. 
Tetragon Fortress 1 was originally made in 2016 when the creator was new to game development and wanted to experiment with Roblox Studio. It received updates for a couple of years before going radio silent in 2020 and being discontinued in 2022. The game's assets were made open source and were made available on GitHub. Tetragon Fortress 2 first released on Christmas Day of 2022 and has remained in early access for almost about two years now. In terms of gameplay, it doesn't do much to try and replicate the physics of the Source engine. The classes and weapons remain nearly identical to their counterparts from TF2. Currently, the game doesn't look like much, mainly because it was built off of the spaghetti code from 2016, leaving it in a pretty unpolished state. But a complete overhaul of the game's code and assets are currently being worked on. It's intended to be released in the game's beta stage, which doesn't have a release date as of now. As for Tetracon's gameplay, it mostly stands out because it doesn't really attempt to replicate TF2's movement. Blast jumping in particular feels different since it relies on Roblox's physics engine. Before Error Warfare and mobile support for Typical Colors 2 existed, this game was seen as Team Fortress 2 for mobile players. That actually is kind of true since the game does have a decent mobile player base. The game also uses the ro player's Roblox avatar as the appearance for the marks whereas other games introduce, introduce their own custom models for each of the classes. Touchdown Fortress is the most underlooked game out of the three. With its gameplay and visuals, it's not that appealing, but it is what introduced me to TF2 in the first place, as someone who didn't have a PC going up. Now the main question you've probably been asking the entire time. Why would you play Roblox TF2? Well, you have a couple main. One is you may not have access to a PC. All of these games do have mobile support. Anyone who wants to play TF2 but doesn't have the means of doing so really only have these Roblox replicas to go off. The second reason could be is just that the players don't feel like playing for a premium account, just a talking game. In general, TF2 is not very kind of free to play. It's possible to get items, but if you're going to be serious about increasing the value of your inventory, some money is probably going to have to be spent on this game. All of the games I listed, you can obtain items easily, whether it be a currency system or in Tetragon's case, they straight up give you the items to you through crates. Finally, let's talk about the fact that all these games still get updates. Whether you're hyped for Aero Warfare, Typical Colors 2, or Tetragon Fortress, all these games have developers that have genuine care for the game that they're making. If you check the Discord servers for any of these games, you'll see occasional updates from developers to these communities. Communication between developers and the player base can go a long way. These are just few of many points as to why someone might choose to stick with Roblox TF2. But that's just not to say you should just outright avoid playing it. If you have a PC, give TF2 a try. It's worth seeing the reason why the creators for all these games became fans of it in the first place and how these three games even came to be. So those were the three main TF2 Roblox games. There are others on the platform, but they either don't work or they currently don't have a fully developed community around them. Before we do end this video, I ask you not to start a civil war in the comments section. That is if this video does get popular. I have no idea though. But anyways, enjoy the rest of your day.